Hello there, Nationaires. I'm looking at my, uh, my iPhone calendar right now, and it, every single day for this month, except for this Wednesday and the 24th, has a dot on it saying I am going to be somewhere, flying somewhere, or doing something every single day this month. Once every year, depending on whenever their books are coming out, a lot of authors go on their book tour season, pretty much. And right now, since my book comes out in the fall, fall is my book tour season. So I'm pretty much traveling in and out, or going places, or going with people, or doing stuff, or promoting, or something, almost every single bloody day in October. Now on my website, if you go to calebnation.com slash events, there's a list of my book tour stops, but on top of those, I'm also going to be stopping at a bunch of schools in all the different cities where I'm having book tour stops. For example, tomorrow I'm going to be speaking at Cactus Canyon Junior High School, which is here in Arizona. Then on Thursday, I'm going to be at uh, O'Connor Elementary and Milestones Charter School, both of those are in Arizona, before my big book signing launch party at Changing Hands. And I know that a bunch of you are going to be coming out to the Changing Hands bookstore, or you've already pre-ordered books for me to sign while I'm there, so it's going to be exciting. And I was thinking earlier about the stuff that happened on the last tour. Like, it's kind of weird because looking back on the book tour that I did last year, I met a lot of people. <laughs> I met a bunch of authors, I met a lot of readers, I met a bunch of people. Most of the people hadn't read my books before because the tour, it was my first book tour. But the difference between my last book tour and this one is that a lot of people have already read the books. So a bunch of people who already know about the world and can have questions about things that are inside of Brand's world can, uh, say things during the Q&A, like I can answer all these interesting questions that you guys have been asking for so long now. <laughs> On top of that, I'm not as nervous with public speaking as I was last year. I'm not going to walk up with my hands and legs shaking. No, actually I probably will walk up with my hands and knees trembling, but I'll get over it much faster than I did last year. You won't be hearing the uh, microphone in my hands. Book tours are fun because you usually get to meet people who have either enjoyed your work already or who are curious enough to actually show up at a book signing to want to know more about you. And you kind of get nervous sometimes because it's kind of you standing up front and they're all expecting you to do something that's great and entertaining. And it's not like during the book tour I'm wearing my uh, Captain Martinelli beard and wig and hat or anything. It's, it's hard to entertain whenever you're just standing up on stage talking about things. And for me, whenever I go to book tour signings, a lot of the time I'm talking about myself. People, they want to hear my story about how I became a writer, like how I wrote the books and how I got there and all that stuff. For me, it's kind of difficult talking about myself like that because I always feel like whenever I tell my story, it's like, oh, look at me, I'm so important, la di da. But I'm really doing my best not to do that at all. It's just, anytime you talk about yourself, it's kind of that way, I guess. I think to be entirely honest, that's the thing that makes me nervous the most, is not coming off like an entirely self-obsessed person while at the same time um, promoting my books, because that's my job. <laughs> my favorite part about a book tour stop after I'm done blathering on about myself is the Q&A, because people always seem to come up with the best questions, and I love answering questions from people. It's like, have you ever gotten a traffic ticket, or what type of car do you drive, or um, are you allergic to bananas? I am allergic to bananas. Sometimes they're just bizarre questions from out of nowhere, like who is Larak the Baker? And I answered who Larak the Baker was, and then I realized, wait a second, Larak the Baker is not in the book, he's not in the book till the second book. And then I discovered it was my brother who had prepared these people via Twitter uh, to ask these weird questions at book tour sightings. So yeah, I should probably be more prepared for pranks this time. One of the questions I've been asked lately a lot about this book tour is, am I going to do something special for people who show up wearing a brand handbrake or a nation ear shirt? the signing. And the answer is yes, I do have something special that I'm going to give to the people who show up wearing a Nationair or a Brand Hamburg shirt at one of my book signings, so those are taken care of. I just thought of something, since I'm uploading this video today, um, I have a dilemma that I think I need you to solve. Right now, since I'm doing so much stuff getting ready for book tour and all the events that I have coming up, uh, I've been living off of these microwave meals, and uh, I can't choose what I'm supposed to have for dinner today, so it's kind of a pick between this or this. And uh, if you could tell me in the comments which of those you think looks tastier, I would be very happy. Now, while this is Italian food, this is an entire pound of food, and I just can't pick what I want. Let me know in the comments, and Cactus Canyon Junior High School, I will see you live in person tomorrow, and the rest of you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.